Okay, so there's that dude. Keep an eye on that red truck. And then pull to your camera. Oh my god. He's really not there. <laughs> oh my god, it's not, not focusing. There. He's walking. He's, oh, there he goes. He's literally right behind you us. Guys. He's right by that mailbox and he's not there. He's not there and the truck is not there. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> he's right there. Oh, shit. I have a, I have a four. <laughs> <laughs> Took us to this place. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. What if they have guns? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's start walking. China, that's fucking creepy. Okay. Yeah. Diana, please hurry! Let's go! So we just found this suitcase and we're gonna get it. Okay, so they're like opening oh. it up with the sticks because we don't wanna So we called the police twice. It's been two hours in the water. It's like rising. Suitcase is like closing. Oh, okay, so what are we doing? We're rando nodding. This is our location and it brought us on this fucking where? I think this is someone's fucking house. Yeah, like, we just... I don't know. <laughs> they just like looked at us and smiled. <gasps> what? Wait, it's down the railroad. No, it's not. How do you know if there's a train coming? Oh my... What? Kira, where are we? We're gonna get out and we're gonna fucking go take pics. We have a mirror. <laughs> Okay, so it told us to go this way. It brought us to train tracks. Why? No, come back. Why? Oh, fuck that, we're not going back. My leg. Okay, so my fiance and I are out here in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere in Albuquerque, New Mexico because there is this app called Randonautica that gave us a random set of coordinates and we came here. So with the app, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to manifest something that you want to find. So we were like, let's find something weird and creepy. So we came out here to the middle of the woods and this is what we found. So it's super green everywhere. We're like right by the river and then right where the GPS coordinates sent us is a burnt tree. Everything around this tree is dead in the middle of all this like lush greenery. So we got closer to the tree where the exact pinpoint is and I saw there was this weird broken ceramic thing. I don't know what it is. And then on further inspection, there's a creepy ass face on this tree and a little inscription that looks like it says crybaby. All I'm saying is this shit's weird. I, I hoped for something like this and then it kind of scared me a little bit. Um, so this is me and my- So we went rando nodding, um, this app called Randonautica, which you should totally try. Rowdy sign number 15, I count them, in Houston. Um, it takes us to this random place next to a creepy church. Um, we start looking around and there's nothing in that. I was really hoping there would be. It's just concrete. Um, maybe I didn't dig deep enough, I don't know. So we keep walking through the concrete, hoping to find something weird and strange and funky. Stepped on an anthill with purple stuff on it. That was fun. Um, I looked through the trash, hoping to find something. I like trash, it's fine. Um, nothing. Then a creepy little little shed thing, and I'm like, what the fuck is in that? What is in that? Can't get in, of course. Then we see this creepy house with no door, but people have been living in there because there's like new trash outside, and I'm like, what? Then we see an even creepier house um, next door that you're about to see, and part two I will upload shortly that shows us more. So today, me and my friends decided to go rando naughty. Supposedly, this app takes you to a place of high energy, but you have to manifest what you want. We all thought it would be pretty cool to see a crime scene, and you won't believe what we saw at our second location. 
The first spot took us into a neighborhood and to a construction site, so it wasn't that interesting. But the second site is where it got nuts. The location was at the bayou. And since there was no parking, we parked the car at my friend's house and walked there. We were really confused on why it was taking us on a normal path until it had us turn through these woods. And randomly, we found this card that said the Cardi Killer on it. We were a little bit scared, but we kept going. We came out under a bridge and saw an extension cord, a rubber glove, and this brown bag. We moved the brown bag and we saw another one. Who is the Cardi Killer? Guys, right, so we're literally randonauting in like the middle of nowhere, right? And we're walking across this thing to find our attention, which was four leaf clover. What does that look like to you? What is going on? So me and my sister went void hunting. We got to this like rundown clothes sculpture garden. This like guy followed us and we thought we were gonna get murdered, but then he like went into the bushes. It was really creepy, but we went in anyway, we had to hop the fence. And it was just like this big sculpture garden with like a bunch of sculptures, obviously. And like we didn't actually find the void point, but it was really cool. And like these were like paintbrushes from the artist made the things but i think he died so yeah and then we found this like car um and it said roscoe the clown and then it said friend of crippled children so that was kind of sus but yeah then that's us climbing back over the fence to get out and yeah